Hello YouTube, it's Sunday and I'm not going to do much work today. I'm going to put the fender or seat pan thing back on the tractor. First we're going to mount the... My voice is cracking. This weather's terrible. Last night it was cold out. Because it sprinkled again. Anyway, you're seeing what I'm doing here. See that ridge? This is how it was bolted down. This is the only place was touching the top of the fenders. If you watch the video when I did body work, you know what the fender looks like. Okay, so the place was touching. Well, it rocked back and forth. Well, this is what we're going to do. See how that is taller? You know? If you laid something across there, it'd be tall. I think you know what I mean. I don't have to get out a straight edge. There. We're going to hot glue these on here. Right around the hole, okay? Just hold long enough to get the thing mounted. You know, it's not gluing something permanent. It's just to hold it. You take the hot glue gun. And there was one repaired over here. See that? So we took the time to repair that. Just the universal seat. So you can go on the antique tractors. I've got the proper bolt pattern. I double checked. I measured... Uh, the pattern so I'm not doing the wrong holes but just something universal the tag is gone but it's probably oh boy I bought one for 50 some dollars at the farm store it was 75 dollars if I ordered it so uh, they're right up there in price they're not cheap <laughs> I'm not about to look for the original so stay tuned we acting out we'll bring you back when we got these glued on or at least one of them okay we did glue the first washer down with a couple drops of glue, okay, got it centered over the hole. And we don't want any glue between these washers to change the spacing. So, you see how we just goop the glue up here on the side and up onto this one? And then the bolt goes in. And we'll have some flat washers on the other side of the fender too. We won't just use lock washer because, you know, because of the stress, flexing of steel and everything. So, there you go. A simple little quick thing. We'll even put the straight edge across here. Yeah. It's going to be higher. I think you get it. Oh, the reason it's that sharpening marker on here, it, it blacks out the metric. I'd always grab this and I'd grab it the wrong way. It used to have cork on it, but... There you go. If you ever wonder if you ever see me, why is that all sharpie mark? So I know not to use that side. I can use it if I have to. I can still read it. I think. Yeah, you can still read it. There you go. Too long a video on a simple little tip there. How to. Thanks for watching. Remember this glue gun? Years ago I made a video. I found it in the garbage. I lost it and found it again. High temperature. And I've got those acrylic rubbery glue in it. I did a review on that glue. Uh, it's good stuff. We'll just say that. It, it sticks to metal really well. So, If you watched this far, thanks for watching the little extra bonus clip.